I'm thinking this is probably the best Thai food I've had and all I've had are the gay satay. Hi guys, for the last two days of Phuket, we're staying at the Renaissance Resort and Spa. Our little villa. It's so cool. It's in a jungle, babe. What? What is it? A butterfly? Butterflies are cute. Babe, you're looking very pretty. I like your little dress. It suits this area a lot. Thank like you. a rose in a jungle. Anyway, let's go. Let's open up our room. Oh, you, how did you do that? Okay. And, uh, <laughs> oh, okay, here it is. Here's our little door. We're staying here. No number right now, but you use a key card. Let's go, let's chuck that right in. Okay, wrong way. Here we go. Yes, okay, babe. Oh. Oh, I'll see you. <laughs> All right, we'll try again. Attempt number two. Cool. Here's our luggage already. Yep. In Bell for boys us. helped us out. Very <gasps> nice. Wait, you don't get slippers. Oh, that's the thing with villas. Yeah. You get thongs here. Yes. You get thongs in patang. That's pretty good. And here is a. Ooh. Nice. Here's our bed. I love, I love it. it. I love this. It's uh, very cozy. I love very the cute. colors and I love how like the bathroom is just connected to the bedroom. Is that? Oh right, is the bathroom just right there? So you got a nice little couch here. I really like the color scheme. Yeah, yes. The color scheme is shaggy. Scheme. Scheme. Here you got a bathtub. Very nice. It's so pretty. You got a, a bathroom, mirrors, a place to get your makeup did. Nice sink. Let's let's test the sink. Oh, that's that, nice. That water sounds so crispy. I love this. <laughs> I really like teal colors. This already gets a uh, yeah. bonus. It's very nice. It gives you a very relaxing, chill vibe, like you're on holiday. You know. Yeah. Let's go nice. deeper. Right, let's go deeper into the jungle. The Renaissance. So we got the shower. We got a shower. And very nice. The toilet. The toilet. Is this a? Uh, Mm -hmm. uh, normal in villas that they don't have any like doors for the toilet. Mm -hmm. You kind of just be and boop in the open. What's in, in here? nature. In nature, with nature. Yeah, with nature. Ooh, Harry Potter's room. It's pretty, <laughs> you can't even sleep in there. You just have to stand. <laughs> this is a big bath. This will definitely fit a family, a Vietnamese family for sure, or a family of potatoes. I do like a star jump. <laughs> <laughs> This is crazy. Let's go check out the living room and our bedroom. You got a nice big TV. This is a really big TV. Oh, plugging the Renaissance. <laughs> Here you've got a little area oh, for yeah. drinks. Oh, what is that? <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> that is the coolest thing ever. Oh my I God. love that. Look at it guys. It's when we're in Hong Kong and we're on those little bikes. That is so cute. Isn't and it that says, the anniversary you spend photo? your life working, discover the world as you go. That is true. That is the story of our life. That's so sweet. That was very and nice. Like personal. Thank you very much, Renaissance, for Aww. setting that up. It means a lot. What are these things? Coconut oils? Drinks? Oh, you can make your own drink here. It's a Chalong yeah. Bay. You get the uh, ingredients. Oh. Uh, Fenty Man, a rose lemonade. What is this? Oh, it's rum. You got ice in there, you mix it. We should do that later. Wow. I think that'd be yes. pretty fun. Let's try. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. And outside we get our own little pool. Private pool. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, there you go. It's one of these ones where you just open the door and you just fall in it. Nice little area to sun bake. There are our neighbors. So here's the drink that they gave us at the reception. Um, also a big piece of ginger. I'll take this home for my mum. She will love that. She's a grandma now, so grandma seemed to love ginger. 
Here we've got our own little bar. Uh, you, what is this? It's uh, made by Illy. I love you, Illy. Uh, let's press the button. No idea what this does. All oh, right, it's a coffee maker. Of course, the coffee's right here, guys. Stupid me, uncultured hipster. Don't even know. More deco, looks really cool. Looks like a very tasty cracker. I just want to be like, oh. So this villa is actually uh, real close to the airport in Phuket. And also what I love about this place is that there is a shuttle bus timetable that takes you to three different places. Phuket Town, Patong, and also Central, which is a shopping center for a lot cheaper than taxis would. Villas need this. They need more of these. This is very helpful. Really cool, babe. It's so cute. I'm really liking it. Uh, there you go, guys. That's pretty much our room at the Renaissance in Phuket. Mm -hmm. Very impressed. If you guys want something uh, very resorty, affordable, and very beautiful, make sure you guys check out the Renaissance. Yay! Yay. Okay. <laughs> oh, my number one fan! And if we open up here, guys, you will find something right behind that umbrella. It is a tiny little lizard, cute as hell! And um, let's try to get it out of here. Cute ass lizard, just right there, if you guys can see it. This is his home, so we'll try to, we'll try to escort him outside very nicely. There's the lizard, a uh, very close up of the lizard. Very cute, very cute guy. Um, I'm starting to not get too scared of it. It's just a swiggling and squirming around. Oh, there he oh, Okay, there he goes. Hello. Bing Guardian. Oh. <gasps> I'm in Narnia! I'm in... Oh my god! Where am I? Welcome to a <laughs> mojito making class. <laughs> Today we are making Cha Long Bay. Cha Long Bay, mojito. Yes. Okay. So I've laid out the ingredients already. But first, babe, people need to know that you have experience with making drinks as you were a bar girl. Yes. At a club. But I just knew how to pour alcohol. <laughs> Let's see your skills today. <laughs> Has it paid off? So the ingredients we have. Yeah. Mint leaves. Mint leaves. And... Limes. Lime wedges. Lime wedges. I like wedges. Yes. And we also have brown sugar. Right. And rose lemonade. Rose. I love rose from Blackpink. Me too. She's great. Shout and out to Box also, Hill. Also, Cha Long Bay rum. Or any rum is okay. Really? Yes. Ooh. What's Cha Long Bay rum though? Just a special type of rum for the Cha Long Bay drink. Is it uh, from Thailand? Yes. <laughs> and we also have dried coconut wedges. Oh. 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 You can see that later. That's just for eating. Start again? Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> That's not part of this. Oh, really? Yeah, it's just a oh, snack on. Okay, and you have the ice. And you have ice cubes. So the first thing that you want to do yeah. is take three lime wedges okay. and put it directly into the glass. Oh, so right. One. Where's the glass? That thing? Yes. Okay. And here you've got a little Two. Uh, branch. So we have three lime wedges inside. Okay. Can I see? There you go. Wow. Yeah. I like limes. And now we need to pour Cha Long Bay and syrup muddle gently. I used to have a friend called Cha Long, so this uh, brings back memories. Cha Long Bay! Cha Long, I hope you're doing well. He used to live next to KFC and I was very jealous. Because if you live next to KFC, you you pretty much made it. So this is the Cha Long Bay and syrup model. Mmm. <laughs> That's strong. Don't pretend. You down 20 yoga shots. Well. <laughs> Glenn has actually been sober for six months. She uh, for a new year <laughs> I'm not resolution. An alcoholic, you make me I know. Sound like an alcoholic. She's not an alcoholic, but she liked clubbing and drinking. She can actually do twenty Jaeger bombs, but uh, she decided to go on a sober sesh for six months, and she's actually been doing really well. So, good on you, babe. I'm proud of you. So we'll pour this in gently. Okay, gently. You only Keywords, need keywords gently. Okay. 
the shop. That was pretty good pouring. No spillage, no spillage. Ooh, that smells delicious. It smells like lychee. It smells like um, that lychee alcohol. What is it called? Soho. So that's two perfect shots in there. Yeah. All right. And the next step, we need to slap mint leaves into the glass. You gotta slap it. Make you gotta sure slap it. That those were the so, key words. You gotta slap it. Show me how to slap mint want. leaves, babe. Right. How do you slap? <laughs> Isn't <laughs> slapping like this? Hey, what are you doing? No. Well, nothing went in, so it's okay. No, that did go oh, in. So you just slap it in. Oh like yeah, that. slap it in. Show me again. Slap. Like that like Korean that. running man game. There we go. Just slap a few. Like that. That's enough. I have to drink this. I don't yeah. even like mint leaves. Yes, okay. I'll put a bit in. This is like a alcohol cooking show. So I don't know what I'm watching right is, now. You have to <laughs> add ice cubes in there. So obviously, personal preference, you can add as much ice cubes as you like. Mm, as many as you like. There you go. Beautiful. Great stuff. You see that finesse, guys? All right. Very strong finger work and stuff. So the next thing we have to stir well. Smell that. Smell that branch. No, the branch. See, it's not a oh, normal. It's like a vanilla bean cinnamon stick. Can you eat it? <laughs> I'm gonna eat it. Anyway, <laughs> so it will probably add to the drink, the flavoring of this stick. Okay. Mm, that smells strong. Mix All that right. sheet. So we just mix it up. Mix that sheet. It says stir well. Okay. So you want to make sure to really stir it. That looks very delicious. Although I do not drink alcohol. You guys, if you've seen the sake brewery video, you know that <laughs> I do not drink. So next up is a rose lemonade. Yep. My love is on fire. Shout out to Rose. Right. We sing Blackpink in July. But this video will probably be released after July, so we already saw them. All right, so you just pour some and in. They will steam it out. Wow! Look at that. Mmm. And I will add a bit more ice cubes in, just because it looks like it's lacking some ice okay. cubes. Let's see that. That's looking very uh, refreshing right now. Yeah. I feel like I'm going to get a nice buzz and feel like a, like a villa in there. <laughs> this what? is your show. This is your, <laughs> yeah, this is your show. Right, what does that mean? I'm talking way too much. I'm talking way too much. That's okay. And also, we just garnish with a lime, which you can... More limes? Oh. You just put it back in. <laughs> Oh, wait, no, you're supposed to put it like there, right? Yeah. How do you garnish it? Like there. There we That's go. Pretty, I feel like it's just like if I... Yeah. <laughs> do that. <laughs> and with a lime leaf. Beautiful. There you go. The Cha Long Bay created by Delena. The Da Long Bay. I hope you guys enjoyed and happy drinking. <laughs> but drink responsibly. Yes. Do not... Oh, is that mine? Yes, please okay, try thank some. you. I'll drink some. Here is the Dalong Bay. It looks very tasty. Cheers, guys. To Phuket and our last days here. Yay. Yum. <laughs> <laughs> so strong. It is strong, yeah? I'm pretty strong. You know what I realized? What? I accidentally put the whole bottle in when you're supposed to have one shot in that cup and then one shot in this cup. So what we have today is a double shot Cha Long Bay Mojito. Well, there you go, guys. Thanks for watching Delena's drinking show. Thank you. Next time she will show her skills in 20 Jaeger shots. Binge drinking. Bye-bye. No one will want to see that. My biggest fan! <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Now we're gonna go explore the villa. Let's check it out.
you've ever seen the start. We are now heading to dinner at our villa at a restaurant called Takien. Yeah, it's highly rated mm. by everyone in Phuket. So we're going to try it out. We are so hungry. Let's eat. And the restaurant is located up here under Sandbox. The sandbox bar. So this is a bar that has sand all over the floors. How cool is that? Let's check out the restaurant. Wow. This place is beautiful. So here's the menu at Takin. There are appetizers, meat and seafood and desserts. We're going to have a three course meal. So let's decide. <laughs> I don't want appetizer I'm having. I don't I don't care if it's tasty or not, but I'm going for the, the gay sound tea. <laughs> it's a guy. It's a gay sound tea. We're also getting a Tom Yum soup for Delena. I was not happy about that. He was not happy. <laughs> uh, for our mains, we're getting a green curry, the prawn pad thai, and a uh, fish. And for desserts, we are getting a, oh, these two right here. Thai sticky rice and a fried banana with uh, delicious stuff. Right here are people getting massages in that little hut while you look at the sea. How cool is that? You guys wanna, you can do that if you want, get a massage, yeah. So I've read that people still come here to try out the food even though they don't stay at this villa. So the food must be good. Yeah. Ooh. Look at this little snack, prawn crackers. Just like at Yum Cha. Mmm, Thai style. So these prawn crackers are not actually prawn tasting. They're more on the fish, pepper, spicy side. A real Thai treat, I reckon. So delicious. A really good cracker. And here is our gay satay uh, peanut sauce, some delicious onion thing. And look at that. Incredible. You've got chicken on the right, prawn in the middle, and pork on the left. Can't wait to try this. Guys, look at that. <laughs> and Delena got another serving of those fish crackers because they're that good. Take it easy, girl. I only had one. The pork skewers. The gay skewers making me feel all kind of happiness. Dipping it in that peanut satay. I absolutely love peanut satay. One of my favorite things to have with hot pot. I just mix peanut butter and Jimmy's Chinese sauce, satay sauce, and oh my God. All right, let's try guys. Mm. So soft, so delicious. Oh, that peanut satay. The meat has been cooked so well on what I could only assume to be a charcoal grill of some sort. Amazing flavors. Probably, most definitely, the best skewers I've had in Thailand. Although I've had none. Amazing. Next up are the prawns. I don't think these prawns require any peeling. I'm just gonna eat it straight off the stick. Incredible. I'm thinking this is probably the best Thai food I've had and all I've had are the gay satay. This prawn is already de-shelled. Mm, soft, juicy, so easy to eat. Some of the best prawn I've had and the satay really complements it so well. Ooh, I love chicken skewers. Yum. <laughs> this is what's definitely winning me over this peanut satay. It's so delicious. I could eat that with anything. You put that on rice, you put that on a hot dog, you put that on chips, I'll eat it. I don't care. What is the recipe? Can you guys please tell me? Because I want to take that home. Here's our Tom Yum soup. There are prawns inside, mushrooms, a bit of garnish. Um, ginger, it looks very delicious, but not that spicy looking. 
I think the only tom yum I've eaten here is an instant cup noodle tom yum. So this is my first real tom yum soup in Thailand. Ooh, that spice and chili just hits you as soon as you drink it. Oh, so delicious. <laughs> it's sour, sweet, spicy. All right, let's try some soup. It tastes like I'm eating chili lemon soup. I do not get or understand the craze for tum yum. I can't even pronounce it. <laughs> a tum yum. yum. You want a tum yum? I eat this. Here's the green curry, and I've never seen a green curry that looks that beautiful. If that was Thai artwork, I would buy it and then I would eat it. It's you cannot have green curry without jasmine rice. Ooh, look at that. Incredible. Yum! Keep it come, girl. Keep it come. Fantastic. Let's try it. All right, the green curry with chicken. Wow, delicious amazing spices so flavorful i feel like this is the first time i've experienced umami in thailand and i'm not kidding because these flavors combined are so delicious i'm i'm really loving it and i'm not even the biggest fan of thai curry but this one really does it for me i love love green curry it's my favorite food in thailand it's my favorite thai food <laughs> let me try some that's a big bite, girl. Oh, that's such a good curry. That's amazing. The best green curry I've eaten in Thailand so far. Out of all the other ones I tried. I had to stand up for this. Look at this incredible pad thai. There's a giant tiger prawn. Look, an omelette. That is like a Japanese style omelette right there and inside is the pad thai and that's the blanket a giant blanket if not a burrito of pad thai you've got the vegetables nuts and you've also got these sauces if you want and also sugar to make the pad thai even more delicious i can't wait to open that up okay i think it's time to break this open i cannot wait let's go guys oh, oh my Oh, there it is. All the delicious pad thai noodles. There are more prawns in there, tofu. That looks incredible. I cannot wait to try some. Times like these, I have to praise the food gods, the Thai food gods. Thank you so much for this incredible looking pad thai. Let's try it. This is beautiful. I see the gates opening up. And there, in front of the light, the shining light is this amazing pad thai. I just want to be covered in that egg blanket. I want to become the pad thai noodles. Oh my god. So delicious. Guys, I'm being serious. The most delicious, breathtaking pad thai I have ever had. And it looks like art. I'm eating thai art right now. I don't know what I'm saying. It might be the heat, it might be the sweats, but an amazing pad thai, delicious, incredible. So I'm gonna add the nuts to mine, some bean sprouts, plus where's that lime? I love lime on pad thai, it's delicious. You need that sweet and sour to it, that's what Thai food is all about. And some sugar, just a little bit. And some chili flakes, just a little bit. Oh, it's so good. That is the right way to eat pad thai. Mm. Oh, so delicious. That is such a good pad thai. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> and here's our final main dish. It's the fish and guys look at those spices look how well it's been deep fried this looks incredible and the way you're supposed to eat it is 
putting the fish inside this leaf and just eating it like a little taco. All right guys, I'm gonna try out this fish. I'm gonna grab one of these leaves and put a slice of this fish. Oh my God, that's a big slice. You know what? Just take it. Just do it. Look at this. Fishy swimming in a green leaf. And that's the best way to eat it apparently. Cheers guys. Delicious. A great way to eat it too. The leaf really complements the fish. And I mean, look how beautiful this thing is. It's incredible. It's sweet. It's not spicy. A lot of um, different Thai flavors. Very good. I love it. Incredible. And this is a signature dish here, so I can see why it is so popular because it's amazing. This and the Pad Thai are probably the best things I've had in Thailand. So the outside of this fish is so crispy, but inside is soft and juicy. The flavors are a sweet sauce, uh, a tamarind flavor, and also complemented with onions, cashew nuts, and a whole bunch of other deliciousness. And we saved best till last. Here are our desserts. We got a mango sticky rice with ice cream and fried bananas with ice cream and coconut. That's a fried banana? I've never seen bananas like that. All right, let's break into this thing. Oh, ooh, oh. That coconut sticky rice ice cream with mango. Oh, that looks incredible. Does this not look delicious to you? Let's try. Guys, you can have a bite. Ready? Three, two, one. Next up, the fried bananas. Let's, oh, let's, you hear that crunch? Wow, that batter. It's like a green pandan batter inside there. Let's get some ice cream. Oh yeah. Cheers guys. Thank you. I love you. I am very happy right now. So it's banana with batter on the outside and inside are all coconut flakes right here. That green stuff, all coconut. And that was the Yay. best Thai food and desserts that I have ever had. One of the best Thai restaurants. Yes. Oh my God, I am so happy right now. Extremely satisfied. I went to Thai heaven, came back down here and very full food camera, baby. It was so delicious. I have a food baby right now. Mm, it's a food baby. Highly, highly recommend. Yes. If you're ever in Phuket, make sure you guys check it out. Yay. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. Good Thanks night. For See you. Oh, it's Lizzie.